this short video is to do how to set up pulsing on a magic wave or transtig Tronius TIG welding machine. Here you see the front screen. There are different options which can be selected on the front screen, such as your tungsten diameter, your start current, your slope up, your main current, your slope down, your ending current. We go to the main current, I can adjust this using the centre knob down to 3 amps. In this machine we'll go up to 300 amps. I will adjust this to 70 amps to start off with. I then want to go inside the menu to set up the pulsing. I press the setup button on the left and hold it and press the button on the right and just once and we're inside the menu now. We need now to select the menu option for pulsing. I happen to know that it is F-P which stands for frequency of pulsing. It is turned off currently but I will set this by the centre knob to one second. What you will notice is that as I turn the pulsing on that light lit up which is HZ for Hertz and that is the pulses per second and that light lit up which is to indicate that pulsing is now turned on. Now that pulsing is turned on I move to the duty cycle by pressing the cursor key. This is set at 40% and it is to do with the length of the pulse on the high part as compared to the low part. I could set this up to 80% which will mean you have a long pulse with a short space or down to 20% which means you have a short pulse with a long space. I'm going to set it at 50% for now. I now go on to the size of the pulse. If I reduce this figure from 60% this will increase the pulse size, the appearance of the pulse size. If I now increase this figure we will then get a much softer pulse. I will set it at 50% also in this case. To come out of the internal menu press the setup key just once. You will note that light is still on indicating that pulsing is still on. We will do a weld. As you can see there is a very even high part and low part of the pulse. I am now going to come back into the menu, press the setup key and hold press the right hand button and we're inside the menu. I'm going to now select the frequency of pulsing. While I'm welding I will adjust this. At the moment it is doing one pulse a second. I am going to bring this down so that every two seconds it does a pulse. That is on 0.5 Hertz. That is doing a pulse every two seconds. Bring it up to one pulse a second again and now we're going to go beyond and we're going to go to two pulses a second, five pulses a second, six, ten, and we can continue upwards until you virtually can't see it, up to a hundred pulses a second and beyond. Now go to the, into the kilohertz range, which is a thousand pulses a second, two thousand pulses a second, and we'll bring it back down again to a more reasonable level. I suggest we keep it at about 1.2 pulses a second for the purpose of this experiment, as you can see. We can now adjust the duty cycle while we are welding. So I've moved into the duty cycle by pressing the cursor key, it's at 50%. I will start welding. This is now an even pulse, but now I'm going to extend the length of the pulse by bringing it right up to 80. That's 80% 80 of the time on the high part of the pulse, 20% of the time on the low part of the pulse. I will now bring it down. I'll bring it right down to 10%. That means that there is only 10% of the time on the high part of the pulse, 90% of the time on the low part of the pulse. I'm going to bring the duty cycle up to 60% and leave it there for now. I'm now going to go on to the size of the pulse, currently set at 50%. I want to have a softer pulse, so I increase this figure. I'm going to bring it up to 90%, and I don't think you could hardly see the pulsing differential. I'll bring it down a little bit, you can now see it appearing. If you bring it down further, it'll increase in size until I'm coming down to 20%. Quite a large pulse is showing there, the differential. We 
Now I have this set up, I will bring it back out of the uh, menu by pressing the setup key. We can adjust the amps, I will put it to 100 amps. The pulsing is exactly as set up before, only the amperage is bigger. You will see the screen jumps around, showing the difference in the amps. That is because you're on the pulsing function. Thank you.